When you seek to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah gives you the dignity of people, that's a type of dignity that can't be taken away from you. And that's a respect. Me and the brother that brought me here were talking about on the way over here, is that when you seek to please Allah, you get respect. Even if people don't like you, who cares if people don't like you? I don't care if anyone likes me. If you give me the respect that I deserve as a human being and as a Muslim and as a man, that's all I need. But who cares if the people don't like you, if they think you're crazy, if they think you got a bag on your head? Who cares? Let them laugh. You know why? You know why we should let them laugh? And how many of you have ever heard the, 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 the phrase, laugh now, cry later? Laugh now, cry later. That's for them. That's for them. And I even had this, not long ago, I had a debate with a pastor and a couple of non-Muslims and atheists in New Jersey. And they were talking about why would any, one guy jumped up and said, why would anyone want to be a Muslim? Why would anyone want to be a Muslim? You guys have the worst way, worst way of life. You're backwards. Not only that, but nobody likes you guys. Why would I want to enter a way of life where now, every time I go to the airport, I'm going to be harassed. Every time I go to the airport, they're going to put me in this special line and through these x-ray machines and all this and that. I might get locked up. I might get this. I'm going to get scrutinized. I might get beat. I might get spit at. Why? Why would I do that? Tell me one good reason I can do that. I said, I'm going to tell you why. And I said, this is for everyone. I'll tell you why. Because maybe you look at us now. You might look at the Muslims now when they're in the airport and they're in this separate line being harassed. You might see the Muslims being crowded up and thrown into prisons and into detention facilities, refugee camps. You might see the Muslims getting oppressed all over the world. You might do that. I said, but I swear to you by the one who created the heavens and the earth, on the day of judgment, you will wish that for five minutes you would have been in that line in the airport. You will wish in the next life that for one moment you had stood in the footsteps of one of those Muslims who had been oppressed. For one moment, you will wish that you were the worst oppressed Muslim on the planet rather than the situation that will be facing you when you stand before your Creator. So you can laugh at us now. You can make fun of us now all you want. The day the real laughter will come is the day that we enter into Jannah and we leave you behind. Is that what I have gives me that type of Izzah. Laugh now, go ahead, laugh. Even if I tell you what Islam is really about, you want to laugh at me, you want to mock at me, go ahead. I'll actually sit down and let you finish because I'm going to have my day. The believers will have our day when they will wish that they were sitting on our side. When they will beg Allah, Oh Allah, send me back to the world for five minutes. I'll be like them. I'll get in that line. I'll let them harass me. I'll let them spit at me. I'll let them snatch my scarf off my head. I'll let them put me in a refugee camp, oppress me, put me in Guantanamo Bay. They can put me wherever where they want to put me, as long as I can stand with them today. And Allah will say, it's too late. You should have done that then. You should have done it then. This is the reality of the situation, brother. This is, this is what you have. This is the gift that Allah has given you. It's not worth anything that anyone else can give you. It's not worth selling your dignity for. It's not worth trying to please and look fashionable and fly and... Who cares about that? Who cares about that? The only thing I care about is what side I'm going to be standing on on the Day of Judgment. Let them do what they want to do, brothers and sisters. That's it. And that's all that really matters. Everything else is just garbage, they say. It's just peanuts. And that's not what we want. We want what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the believers. Things that an eye has never seen, nor an ear ever heard, nor has a mind ever imagined. So <laughs>